Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. So, of course, if you all know, we are here in Georgia. Uh, we drop down into the teens. And so it is very, very cold, guys. So early this morning, got up to come on out and do a little wellness check just to make sure that everything is going well. All the animals are, you know, doing good. But this right here is my first stop, guys. So um, as time goes on, I'm going to go ahead and make my round. But if you all can see right here, all these animals is pretty much huddled up in the corner. Um, you know, the beautiful part about it, it is not windy right now. Um, but so far, hey, everybody right here seems to be looking pretty good, guys. Okay, but uh, stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and, you know, do another walkthrough. We're going to, well, stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and walk through the property just to make sure that everything is where it needs to be. So stay tuned. Okay, and so here we are now. Just going to go ahead and check on the well, guys. Just to kind of make sure that everything is still in order. And as y'all can see, the goats, they are now up and moving. Okay. And so right here, guys, look at that. Y'all can see we have frozen ice. And so I'm just going to also get something to go ahead and get all that defrost. Um, so far, right here on this well, everything is looking good. Now, if you all remember last year, uh, what we went through with these wells, we had both the wells were to bust to be busted on us here, guys. And so we went on out and got some um, some noodles uh, to insulate these pipes. And so far, um, you know, they hold up pretty, pretty good. OK. Um, so far, um, let me go ahead and check on this goat, see what's going on. And so uh, the goat is doing perfectly fine. They're just over there, I guess, hollering for me, guys. So far, um, the sheeps, they are doing really well. Okay, um, so yesterday before we got down into the teens, what I went ahead and did, I went ahead and moved the sheeps on out of the pasture and put them in this closer area right here, guys, because one of the things that you also have to understand, uh, the colder it gets, uh, the more energy these animals burn, okay, and that is because they're ruminants is working um you know to pretty much they're eating more uh pretty much to keep their body warm okay now if we all know sheep is one of those animals there that hey the cold don't really beat them up too bad um you know but the goats on the other hand um you know they they eat they eat more as well to keep their body warm all right so um that is pretty much it right there for these sheep right here guys like i said uh they're doing good the goats are doing good on this side and we're just going to go ahead and check this other well on out to make sure that we don't have any busted pipes and everything is doing good on this well now um, real quick, another thing I want to just let you all know that we're supposed to be getting back down into the teens, um, I think for about two more, two more days, okay? So 
just go ahead guys and, and get um, you know get what you need to get together to make sure that um, you're not running into any issues with uh, water issue or anything of that nature okay so like I said uh, so far what I'm seeing this well is doing good um, like I said hey look I came on out I insulate these wells and I cover them up and just to make sure I'm not running into uh, that issue we ran into last year um, if you remember we dropped down into the um, the, the, the the low digits guys um, you know we, we got down to like this well we dropped down into the single digits uh, we was in what getting nine degrees outside and that is that is cold okay um, I don't believe I ever experienced it that cold but hey we made it through none of the less all right so um, I'm right now I'm down hey girl you coming to check me out yeah you coming to check me out and of course y'all know that is Phoenix right there all right and so I'm down here at the bottom garden okay we do got a few uh, cabbage left out here guys uh, that just took they just move a bit slower you know in the winter time uh, your veggies don't grow as fast as if when you have 65 70 degrees they tend to do a whole lot better but um we do have some Georgia collards here now these are one of those things that all year long guys you take care of them you, you maintain them you will be getting Georgia collard so that's pretty much what's going on down here at the bottom garden okay um, I'm looking for these billies here and it look like they done went on around to the back of the pasture okay and that is the bottom garden right here of course this is where we are um, as you can see I have some hay on this these particular beds right here guys just pretty much to overwinter them um, the other beds I didn't really cover them up just as yet because they still had a few veggies in them but for the ones them that is finished um, what I'm going to do I'm going to come on in with a tarp okay I'm going to come on in with a tarp because if you notice we still have uh, weeds growing in the winter time and so what that tarp is going to do for these beds uh, going to go ahead and smother smother out the weeds so that way um, once springtime whoop whoop so that way once springtime roll around guys um, we will be off and ready to go all right and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about these beds once we get closer uh, down uh, in the spring when we get closer into springtime when we get ready to start planting we'll talk a little bit more about these beds right here guys okay so um like i said hey get on out there and pretty much get uh your well uh covered up get them secure because um we don't know what this weather will bring i know it says hey it's going to be uh back down into the teens uh today uh, our last night rather we got down into uh, we got to eight, 18 degrees that's how cold it was okay and so um, hey so far I don't see anything busted and those are the boys they seem to be doing really well we got Abraham over here just you know chasing this little fella I'll tell you but um so far they're doing good. Hey, come on, man. What you got going on, man? Do I need to, do I need to tie you up? Look at this. Now that is just any stink. Hey. Whoop, whoop. Come on, man. Cut it out. I guess that's his way of trying to stay warm, guys. I, I mean, come on. Come on, man. 
That, that's not right, bro. Hey, 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 stop it. <laughs> Guys, I tell you, I'm going to have to tie him up because I don't, I don't need him acting a fool out here and go to jumping. Look at that. I'm off to, yeah, I'm off to get him, get him tied up because he's acting a fool. But nonetheless, guys, um, they're doing good. Everybody looking like they uh, went through this weather pretty well. Okay. So, hey, that's pretty much it right there. Um, I'm going to head on up top, take you all along with me this morning. We'll head on up top and check on the rest of the goats and see how they're doing. So stay tuned, guys. All right. And so as far as I can see, uh, everybody up here is doing okay. Um, got a little baby deer hunched up. It's a bit cold. And so we're just going to, hey, they're standing in the sun right now trying to get you know, whatever sun light that they can get to warm up. But hey, everybody's doing well. Chickens are doing well. You know, hey, I tell you, I'm off to go ahead now and start breaking up these water because I know they are thirsty. So we're going to get to breaking these waters on up. To make sure that they can get a little drink all right so far they got hay i guess later on i'll come back on out and throw them a little bit more hay guys but that right there is definitely that is just the life on the homestead guys you know it's one of those things um when you have animals that is um depending on you you know <laughs> as morning comes you have to get on up and come on out and pretty much tend to these animals it's not one of those things where that i can say hey i'm just going to leave them and let them be let them take care of themselves it does not work that way and so that is that's what we have to do you know rain snow or <laughs> you know rain snow sun we got to be out here to you know take care of these animals so um i'm gonna go ahead and finish up with my morning chores and what i'm also going to do guys i'm going to take it back on inside of the house where it is a bit warm i'll get my body <laughs> warm back on up and hey once the sun comes out i'll come on out and i'll find a few more things uh to go ahead and do who is that jumping on me all right and so that's that's pretty much it right there i just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the humble servant homestead and as always peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there guys remember also keep a smile on your face you be happy you be cheerful and you be blessed and hey just just keep on keeping on all right have a blessed day until next time